Okay, so I'm waiting uh, to have a doctor's appointment, a teledoc. I had some blood work done and my doctor wanted to meet with me. So this is the actual appointment. Uh, I did some research over my metabolic health, uh, the five optimal levels, your blood sugar level, triglycerides, HDL, cholesterol, blood pressure, and your waist circumference. And I'm fantabulous on everything. Um, I also did some research. Dr. Berry has a book out and uh, he did a video in regards to the blood work that you should have done. So when she comes on, this is my actual appointment. I will be asking these questions and I'll have my documentation. So hold on. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Let me uh, change this. Okay. Very good. Um, I was just checking. Did you get your dermatology appointment? No, they have not contacted me back for that. Okay. Okay. I did the mammogram today, and then last week I did the breathing. I did that, and uh, I did get an email that you have the report for that as well. Let me go ahead and pull the laboratory. Well, let me get the mammogram. That one popped up. Okay, so that's normal. It came back on a biorad um, normal. And let me see what the um, PFT. Okay, so they're still reading that one. And it's, sometimes that one can take a little bit. Yeah, that was um, Thursday but, of last week. Yeah, because the, um, the pulmonologist has to look at it. So on the lab, on the allergy panel, um, you did have mainly grasses that you are very much allergic to, the Bermuda grass, Timothy grass, Johnson grass. So those came back significant. Definitely uh, the common ragweed. And um, dog dander. Do you have animals? Okay. Uh, we no longer have our dog, but I told Frederick, until we pull the carpet up, I'm pretty sure it's dander still in the house. So, I mean, uh, I've had them clean, but I think once you have a pet, you know, it can still stick around. That came back on the allergy panel. Um, what they may end up doing for dermatology, and I don't want to try to second guess them, is actually doing the where they um, place the little antigens into the skin. Um, but at least you kind of have this report to give you an idea. Now, there was a part of that test called a total IgE, which is does this individual have like hyped up immune system? And your total IgE is normal. Okay, so okay. You, what your response is, your reaction is, is what um, would be a normal, typical response. Um, okay, when you I, say when you say normal, typical, is that I mean, who's the is that normal, typical of people my age in this area? What does normal, typical mean? So this is a North Carolina antigen panel. So yes, it is going to be for the state of North Carolina for this area. Um, what it means is, is that you you have a normal um, response. So if, if there's a lot of ragweed floating around and all of a sudden your eyes are watery and you start sneezing, okay, that's a normal response. Okay. Um, it's not like it's going to hang on for days and days. Um, your body's reacting. It should be reacting. Um, the ones that were more prominent was the dog dander and the grasses saying you get exposed to that. It might hang around for a couple of mm -hmm. days, but your body will calm itself down. Okay. We also on your blood count, that was perfectly good. No problems going on with the hematocrit, the uh, RPR for the skin. I did this for the skin test for syphilis. That was negative. Um, I also ran uh, what was called um, ANA. These are the tests for like lupus and um, some of the other disorders that can cause skin lesions. Mm -hmm. All of the ANA panels came back normal. They were negative. Um, 
the um, electrolytes, looking at the kidney functions, um, potassium, sodium, that was normal. And urine analysis came back perfectly good. Now, this is the one that came back extremely elevated, and that was your total cholesterol. It was at 291 with the LDL of 218 couple of things on this. So I have seen when people have dramatic weight loss, I have seen that level actually go up. And then I wait out about three months. Once the body kind of calms down and things are stable, I repeat it. And sometimes it'll calm down. The number will come back down to a, a reasonable baseline. That's number one. The second issue is is that it really is elevated that in your genetics that you do have um hyperlipidemia in which case we would want to treat this because what's hyperlipidemia okay so that means um and see i'm looking at all of your labs i went back to 2012 you mm -hmm. never had this never okay i've never um, felt this good either yeah, you've never had this. So it may be because of the weight loss and needing to let the body kind of calm down a little bit because your high, your, your lowest cholesterol that you've had was 144 on the total. And now you we have 291. Mm -hmm. So you've never ever been over 200. Mm -hmm. um, on the LDL, um, again, you were as low as 76. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm looking at 218. Mm -hmm. um, the blood fat is um, what I would have expected. Your blood fat has always been good. Um, you're at 86, which is normal. So I'm, I'm at 86 18. now on blood fat. Yeah, so that's normal. I'm, I'm thinking this may be a, um impact because of the weight loss. And so my recommendation is to repeat this in three months' time, nothing to eat after 12 midnight, stomach completely empty, and then let's see what it shows. Because I suspect we're going to come back to your regular normal, your, your levels. Okay. Now, I have, um, did we check my B12? Didn't run the B12. And what about that. magnesium? Uh, because, look, I after... I got two calls and it was like she wanted me just to tell me I'm allergic to grass. And then I went and saw all the <laughs> all the other. I said, oh, OK, um, I want to uh, metabolic health. So I know there are five markers, your blood sugar levels, your triglycerides, your HDL, your blood pressure and your waist circumference. So I'm not distraught over the uh, cholesterol numbers, but this is what I want to know. I don't understand the difference between small particles and large particles, because uh, I can tell you now, Dr. Smith, I'm going to tell you up front, if in three months that, I mean, I, you know, I, I fast uh, before it, and if the numbers are still elevated, I won't take any medication. And, and here's, here's, here's why. Prior to me really losing weight and on the, the standard American diet, you had me on like every, almost every medication uh, except for cholesterol. I mean, I was on blood medication, pain. Uh, and then I received that medicine that came in the mail. I don't take that anymore either. The uh, stuff that was helping me after the death of my mom, I'm literally on no medicine right now. And I've never in my life felt better. I'm talking for the last, I probably didn't feel this good. I, I was in my late 20s, early 30s. My body has no discomfort, no, no nothing. And when I was researching, it was one of the things, and I'm asking you because you know I hunt you down because I, I really trust your judgment. It was saying that if your triglyceride number is normal and your HDL is normal, then those are the main two that you're really looking for along with your metabolic health because my blood sugar levels are great. My triglycerides are great. My HDL uh, number is great. 
my blood pressure. It was elevated in your office. I just didn't say anything. That wasn't the right size cup for my arm, but it was still a decent number. And my waist circumference has gone down tremendously. So I'm looking at all of those markers as well. But I was, and I, uh, what is ferritin, F-E-R-R-I-T-I-N? And, and what is a GGT? Um, and I know the B12 and my, the magnesium in, uh, uh, in my blood, those were, look, I'm telling you, I'm trying to educate myself because really if I had to, and, and, and Lord, I'm using this as an example. If you said to me, gee, in 30 days, if you keep doing what you're doing, you will no longer be here. I would still say to you, then I'm going to make the best out of these 30 days because I have no desire whatsoever to go back on any of those medications. Waking up, um, the inflammation, the pain, the back pain, you know how many times you uh, wrote for me to go over there to uh, physical health. I remember one time with the pool and, and her helping me, that was $715. Anytime I get into a tube, uh, even that breathing thing, that was $287. And it's like now I don't feel the need. Now we do need to know like what happened with that breathing with me. So I'm on page on, on everything with you, but I feel too great. I am not kidding. And of course, I'm going to do the blood work in three months. That I will do. But there is nothing that I, the only thing I would change, and I think I'm going to see if that makes a difference. I'm going to get my butt out here. I keep saying I'm going to go back to exercising because I have not exercised. Shh, don't tell nobody. I ain't done nothing. but walked up these stairs. So I will go and do that and see if that's going to play a part. But I feel wonderful. I've never felt this good. So then let's, um, and then instead of doing three months, wait four months to repeat the uh, lipid panel. That's the only one. I'll see if Brenda can add on the um, B12, folate, and the magnesium. I'll um, do it in four I months. Those. I'll do those. Right, yeah, wait for four months. And then the um, dermatologist, that's what they were bringing me. I think they're trying to redo this dermatology. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'll, let me get more information on this. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Everybody had called like right away, but I, I that, okay. So let me say this. I would like to be a case study for you where we, we can, we, we are doing this. I've had the weight loss. I, I, I am on a, um, a all meat diet. That's what, that's, that, that is how I did it. Uh, and I would prefer to know that what I'm doing is safe. It really, I, oh, that's what I was asking you. So you got the small particles and the large particles. Do you want to see if there's any blockage in any of my arteries? Um, not at this point, because when I looked at your, your trends, I mean, I went all the way back to 2012. You've never had elevation. So why would I, I there, there's no reason to suspect a blockage. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think this is because the way the food is being processed, that's what we're looking at. Okay. So, and I've seen it before, so this isn't new to me. Okay. Okay. You know, I just, okay. I just love you. <laughs> Thank you. It is. I hope other people can have a doctor like you that listens don't just jump to uh, judgment or anything. And I do appreciate you. Oh, likewise, likewise. Will you hang in, have fun at your exercise, and we'll get that dermatology taken care of. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye -bye. That was the actual meeting. And uh, she's not trying to force cholesterol pills down my throat. Cause as you can see, and, 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 and this right here is like, it means a lot to me because I meant that thing. I will not go back to how I was eating. Uh, I had shared when, um, we did an interview, how it's those little bitty things that we do. So that means that at first I made the, uh, uh, keto mayo. 
And then I tried to make some tuna fish. Um, and so what was the next thing? I had something else. And then I finally bought some primal barbecue sauce because I promise you I've been missing sauce I, that I have. And uh, But the sauce only go with the ribs. But anyway, the first day, no issues. Second day, eh. By the third yeah, I was eating it like every day. I was finding something to eat with that sauce. I had experienced uh, a pain that went all the way down, all the way down my right side. It felt like every nerve ending, um, it was horrible. And I had said to myself, there's no way I can go back to this. I know what it was like, all of that pain that I had. And there is no way whatsoever that I want to go back to that life. So I appreciate um, what she said. Look at there, my blood fat, 86. All my numbers and stuff are good. She ran a long panel on me. I'm going to go back in four months and she's going to add those other ones because I got that off of Dr. Ken Berry. Um, and even with the two numbers that they always say, your triglycerides, and your HDL and both of my numbers are normal. So she sees some elevated, but you notice she said the total cholesterol, but the two numbers that really count when you pull them out, they're normal. But then you have some others that's high and when you add them all together, you're getting a high elevated state. But did you see also when she talks about, um, well, wait, baby, what did what she say? The average. And I said, hold up. Who's average? Because that's another thing. They put you up against average people. You can't put me against average. I don't even eat what they eat. So you're holding me accountable for the things that they are not doing right. And then saying that my blood work is not turning out right. Because it's not as if there is a case study that says this. They just boxing all of these people. Some of these people on dialysis and you tell them, talk about them and I. That's, no, that is unfair. So that was an actual doctor's appointment. Another episode of Hanging with the Browns. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Can you please like, subscribe, share, and then take a look at this video. Thank you.